Hello guys, so now we shall be discussing the structures that are present in the transverse section of the penis. So whenever we do a transverse section of the penis, transverse section of the penis, so what are the structures that are located in the transverse section of the penis, okay? What are the structures that are located in the transverse section of the penis? So for that, first of all, let me draw a picture over here. Right. So if this is the penis, the outer layer which you can see here, this is called as a skin. And after that, here you have got this layer here, this green color layer, right? So this green color layer which you can see here is also called as deep fascia. The other name for this deep fascia is bux fascia. Okay, it is bux fascia. Next, in the center over here, in the center over here, you have got a specific structure. And this specific structure which is located in the center is called as corpus cavernosum. What is it? This is called as corpus cavernosum. Okay. So, this is your tissue of corpus cavernosum. Corpus cavernosum like this. Now, surrounding this corpus cavernosum, surrounding this corpus cavernosum, you have got another important structure like this. So, what is the structure that is surrounding the corpus cavernosum? This is called as tunica albuginea. When you come little bit down, uh, we have discussed in the penis two structures. One is called as corpus cavernosum, another one is called as corpus spongiosum, right? So, down when you come here, here you can find another important structure. You can come across another important structure in this way. So, this structure which you can see is called as corpus spongiosum. I will write down these names in a minute. So let me write it now itself. So this part over is called as the skin. This part over here is called as the skin. And this one over here is called as the deep fascia. What is the other name for the deep fascia? It is also called as the bux fascia. Deep fascia is also called as a bux fascia. Next, these structures which you can see in the center, this is called as corpus. Cavernosum or spongiosum, it is corpus cavernosum. And remember one thing, in the center of corpus cavernosum, you have got two arteries. So these arteries are deeply situated. So you call them as a deep artery of penis. What do you call them? You call them as deep artery of penis. Deep artery of penis. Okay. And next, this layer which is surrounding that, you call it as tunica albuginea. Remember this thing, this uh, pink color layer and this black color layer together, you call it as tunica albuginea. Two layers together, you call it as tunica albuginea. And after that, on either side, on either side of this, these structures which you can see here, these are also called as arteries. How many arteries are there? They are two arteries. So, these are called as a artery of bulb of penis. Artery of the bulb of penis. And by the way, what is this tissue over here called as? Yes. What is this tissue over here called as? This yellow color tissue which I am drawing right now. This yellow color tissue is nothing but called as your corpus spongiosum. So, this part is the one which is we called as corpus spongiosum and what is the center part here this center white color part this is called as your urethra the center white color part is called as your urethra right now after this if you go dorsally so all these structures which we discussed are ventrally now if you go little bit dorsally dorsally also you have got some few important structures over here for example here you have got a vein okay above this also there is a vein in the same way, here you have got two arteries like this. In the same way, above also you have got two arteries. Apart from that, here you have got a nerve, but above you don't have any kind of nerve. So, let us see what is this. So, this part which you can see over here, this artery which you can see over here is superficial or deep. Obviously, it is superficial. Now, compare that artery with this artery which is located down. So, this artery over here is called as a deep artery. 
so this is superficial dorsal artery of the penis so what is this called as this is superficial superficial dorsal artery of the penis okay so here we have got the deep dorsal artery of the penis superficial dorsal artery of the penis we have got the deep dorsal artery of the penis in the same way here we have got a vein so this vein is superficial or deep obviously superficial so this is superficial dorsal vein of the penis and in the same way this one is deep dorsal vein of the penis okay and finally we have got a nerve over here this nerve here is called as dorsal nerve of penis this is called as dorsal nerve of penis okay so what are the structures we have just discussed guys we have discussed a few important structures on the transverse section what are these two important structures first we have discussed something called as corpus corpus cavernosum okay we have discussed something called as corpus cavernosum we have discussed something called as corpus spongiosum so corpus cavernosum and spongiosum are surrounded by a structure here this is called as tunica albuginea and next we have got the deep fascia which is also called as a bux fascia and after that here uh, we have got superficial artery superficial dorsal artery of penis and deep dorsal artery of penis in the same way we have got superficial dorsal vein of penis deep dorsal vein of penis okay and don't forget there is dorsal nerve of penis also so these are the structures which are located on the transverse section thank you so much for watching my video goodbye